Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. 77 degrees the air temperature. We have a dew point value coming in at 75 and we do have some showers in progress, although they've over the last 15 minutes or so sort of died out a lot of them. We're looking at about a 30% chance of rain showers through these morning hours and then there'll be a little bit of a lull and then the rain showers will start up again by noon. We'll have a 40% chance and as we head into the afternoon about a 50% chance, which is a little bit higher than it was yesterday and the focus of those showers in the afternoon is going to start to move further in. Inland. So across the region right now, heavy rainfall across the Big Bend region and the uh, panhandle of the state. Also down to the south where moisture is a little bit thicker. We've got some showers ongoing. The, all of this kind of lifting to the north. So we're certainly not out of the woods yet. Through about 9, 10 o'clock, I think we have a decent chance of seeing some rainfall lifting north from these showers closer to our coastline before we hit that little bit of a lull. The present showers have kind of dampened out, but just off the coast of Fort Myers, we've got some showers lifting north. So in about a half Half an hour or so, I think areas around Gasparilla will start to see a little bit of a chance of rainfall. Then up toward Inglewood and eventually toward Venice as we head into the next hour and a half, two hours. And some of that will be some light to moderate rainfall, but none of it will be severe. We're looking at the uh, Severe Storm Prediction Center's prognosis for today and this color that you see here corresponds to just standard thunderstorms. Nothing in the severe category for us today, so good news there. Future cast shows these showers kind of skirting the coast, dying out briefly, reappearing as we head into the lunchtime hour and then becoming at times some fairly heavy rainfall in inland areas as we move through the afternoon into the evening. Some of the rainfall amounts could approach the two inch mark in inland areas, though by far the heaviest rain today is going to be down in the southern tip of the state. Uh, weather forecast calls for this big high pressure ridge to remain out there in the Atlantic waters. Drop a low pressure dangling down through areas of the Ohio Valley into the deep south and a southerly flow across the state pumping in the moisture. Now that southerly flow switches a little bit more to the east as we head into tomorrow. That will tend to keep those inland showers that I spoke about a few seconds ago that will form in inland areas today a little bit closer to the coastline tomorrow. So it'll probably be a, a little bit of a wetter day tomorrow than it will be today. Not a great difference, but noticeable, I think, on radar. Uh, a few more clouds to start the day today, then some afternoon showers that focus in inland areas, but there'll still be some along the coast. And then slightly drier this weekend as we pump in some drier air. Now this graphic shows you the moisture available to produce rain. Redder is wetter on this graphic. And we have humid air over the state of Florida right now producing the rain showers that we've had over the last several days. Drier air just off the Atlantic coast will slowly start to move in as the humid air is shunted to the south and to the west. That will provide us with some slightly reduced rain chances as we head into the weekend. We're kind of on a sharp dividing line here between higher moisture down to the southern tip of the state and very dry air to the north. But I think we'll get enough dry air in here to slightly reduce our rain chances. So. Our forecast for today looks like this. We'll have a south wind coming in at about 10 knots. That'll bring you a light chop, two foot seas, and there'll be a few scattered showers out there. We've already had a special marine warning around Venice earlier on this morning, and we could have one again this afternoon. So I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see certainly some thunderstorms out there, boaters. 50% chance of rain today will go up to 60% tomorrow. And again, some of those rains closer to the coastline. As we head into the weekend, some of that drier air starts to filter in and will reduce our rain chance to 40%. And as we head into next week, I think a 40% rain chance will do it as well, increasing to 50% midweek.